As many as one in 13 college students have been the victim of drink spiking, according to a University of South Carolina study. Chris Rosengrant owns the Lion's Den Bar in downtown State College. He says that hits home. Having a lot of young nieces and family uh, and all the girls that work here, we just really care about them. In the past few weeks, reports have surfaced at Penn State that several young women may have had their drinks spiked at parties and ended up in the hospital. Police confirmed to us that they've received one report. The Interfraternity Council at the university issued a news release warning students about alcohol consumption, violence, and hospital transports. Drink spiking is a crime difficult to prove and often unreported to police. According to the American Addiction Centers, almost 50% of men and women report having their drink or food drugged at least once. In an effort to protect patrons, the Lion's Den has started carrying check your drink testing strips. These tests here can fit in your pocket and test to see if your drink has been spiked. Experts say the most common drugs used are rehypnol, GHB, and ketamine. They inhibit the victim and cause a lack of awareness, memory loss, nausea, and vomiting. Testing strips aren't the only way to ensure your drink is safe. Shira Bernard created the nightcap drink cover, which covers cups to prevent drink spiking. She says the test strips work, but it's better to stop the spiking before it happens. It's a reactive measure and not preventative. So I think you have to start with, in like, you have to start with awareness. State College Police criminal investigator Chad Hamilton also has some advice. Always be cognizant of holding your drink, being aware of where your drink is, especially if you're at a house party and you're not coming from a reputable establishment. In State College, I'm Holly Deemer for the Center County Report.